What's up everyone, it's Niceish and welcome to another Rust Pro Series video, this time on backup turrets. Um, the question asked was, how can I have a series of turrets, or just two, or however many you want, uh, that once one runs out of ammo, the next turret automatically turns on. And so this is what I'm going to show you. Uh, we're going to start with the the version one, the 12 volt, um, all that's a 12 volts for as many as you want, and I'll explain how that how that's possible. Uh, and then I'm going to show you what I think is the most common use of this. If someone were to want to do this, this would be a 13 volt version uh, that includes a door. And then I'll, I'll show you the uh, 26 volt advanced version that I put together uh, strictly because I was, I was curious about the different directions that you might uh, be able to take this. Uh, so we'll go ahead and start with the 12 volts. Um, now I have set up over here just a battery. This is just a fictitious 200 uh, coming in. You know, it's just some charging setup going into this battery, and so that our output is running here to this branch. If you've seen any of my videos about you know power management, this is where you'd start. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and just set this to 12, and that's all we're going to need for every single one of these in a row, uh, one at a time, of course. And I'll explain how that works. Um, I have eight turrets set up here. I'm not authorized on them. They each have just a, 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 a Python with two extra rounds beyond the clip. Uh, and so um, I'm, you know, de-authed on all these so that they'll shoot at me to show you so you can see how this works. And so I've also already wired the last six because you don't need to see me do this eight times. We're just gonna do the first two so you can see how this would work and how you just keep going if you wanted to. So uh, from a power source, and I'm, you know, obviously you need to switch with turrets so that you can turn them off to service them. That's very important. Uh, I'm gonna run power out from a switch and I'm just gonna run that to the power in on our uh, memory cell here. And so a quick thing about the memory cell that as of at least October, 2022, it still does not use a volt. Um, it's a very excellent switch. It's very useful. It's also incredibly glitchy in that um, it'll tell you it's using a volt, but it's not. So if it says you, if you have six coming in here and it says you have five coming out here, you actually do have six coming out here, despite what it says. It'll also sometimes say that it splits it into two outputs. You have 10 coming in, it says five here and five here. That's not happening. It only can only output one at a time, the full voltage. Um, so just some things to understand about it. Uh, and so to hook this up, we're just going to run from the inverted output. This is the default when you first place this. This is the output that's active when you first place this um, switch is the inverted output. And that's gonna run to the power in on your on your uh, turret. And then the uh, output of this, this is the output that gets set by the set input on the side here. These two are linked and these two are linked. Uh, and that's just gonna daisy chain out and run to the next uh, the next memory cell on the line. That's how, that's how this, that's sort of the base function, how this works. And then finally, you need to choose an output from your turret. Um, has target makes no sense. That would mean that when it targeted a player, it would shut this turret down and turn on the second one. You don't want that. Low ammo you could, but you still have ammo in it. So really the best choice is just no ammo. So that when this turret runs out of ammo, uh, it's going to shut off and turn on the second one. So let's get a little closer here, there we go. And so you're gonna run that, the no ammo, to the set input because you want, when, when the no ammo sends out its volt, you want this memory cell to switch from inverted output to output to turn on the next one. And so that is it. I also have these uh, buttons up here. This is just the way you keep it to only 12 volts. Um, you have to have some way of servicing this. So you need something going to the reset. Obviously there's ways you could do this where you set up you know, multiple lines off of a power source and you just hit it and it swaps them all at the same time. This is the free way to do it because um, these provide their own, these you know, create their own power. So uh, we're gonna do this just for the simplicity of this first version. Uh, so I've already daisy chained this to the next one. And so I'm just gonna duplicate what I just did. So the inverted output here is gonna run straight to the power in on our turret here. The uh, no ammo is going to run to the set input up here on our um, on our our memory cell, and then the output is going to daisy chain out and run to the next uh, input on the next um, memory cell, the power in. So we're going to just run that here to here, and that is it. We'll just throw this button on to provide a way to reset this, and I'll show you guys how that works. And you're done, that's it. And so again, the way this works is that you have 11 volts coming out of here. You're gonna set this to 12, you have uh, 12 arriving. And then when you turn this on, you're gonna have 11 coming out. 10 of those are gonna power the turret. One of those are gonna be available to the no ammo once it has no ammo. Uh, and just so you're clear, no ammo is when this is empty, not necessarily the gun. Uh, 
and that's it. And so it's gonna power this until it receives the set input because these are linked to, to swap the inverted over to the output by that no ammo set input right there. And that's gonna send power out. It's gonna pass power out bypassing this one, sending it to this next one, which is gonna power this one. And so it's gonna go down the chain. So you can do this. Each one of these is like a package like I've talked about in other videos where it's a turret, a memory cell, and a button for this one anyway. And you just duplicate that as many times as you want. I've done eight just to prove the point that 12 volts is all you need to run down a chain of these. Um, obviously you wouldn't set them up this way. Uh, but there are applications for this that we'll talk about in the very end of the video, the pros and cons of all this. So if I turn this on, it's gonna detect me, it's gonna shoot me. And what's gonna happen is it's just gonna run down. So there it goes. And it's gonna fire up the next one. So you now see, you see that second memory cell came on, no ammo, so it turns on the second one. It's just swapping this memory cell from inverted output to output over and over and over each time one of these runs out of out of bullets. So if if they ever change this and the memory cell starts actually taking a volt, we're going to have to reevaluate this because it won't be 12 volts. You'll have to account for these as they go down. Uh, and eventually we'll get to the last one there. And there we go. So now we're out. And so this is how you do this. And so the the other the last thing you have to understand about this is you have to be able to reset this. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this off because the memory cells, watch if I turn these back on, they stay in the uh, the output. So whatever, once they're installed on a wall or wherever you put them, they know what state they're in, whether it's state one, uh, state zero or state one. So state inverted output or output. And so they're not going to magically go back to inverted output, which is what you need them to do. And that's where this button comes in. We've put the button to the reset, which is paired to when you, when this receives a signal, it sets it here. When this receives a signal, it sets it here. So we need this to set it back here, but you have to do it in the opposite direction because if I were to say select this one, it's gonna shut off power to everything after it, which is a problem. So you have to reset these if you're doing it manually uh, from the opposite direction that they fire. So we gotta start here. And so, but before you can do that, if I were to reset this, it's not gonna work because they ha it's gonna send out that no ammo signal because it's still empty and it'll just it'll just like you know run back down to the end again and reset itself back to where you don't want the output. So to fix that. If this was your base, you'd of course have authorization here. All you gotta do is load these up. So if I just almost stay authorized now, I'm just gonna throw 10 rounds into each one just so that we have bullets in there. Now I'm authorized also so they won't shoot at me. I'll turn these on. And all I have to do to reset this is just hit this button starting at the opposite end, the end of the chain. And see now this one turned on. And all I gotta do is just run up this chain to reset these. So obviously this isn't like the most practical thing you could ever do depending on what you're doing, but this does does have uses. And so there you are. Now we're at this first one. If I were not authorized, it would fire at me and then just keep going down the line like I did before. So we're gonna go ahead and shut that off. So that is version one, 12, 12 volts. Uh, and now we're gonna do jump over to this version two, the 13 volt, which I think is much more practical and probably what people would do. And so what I have here is a fictive, this is this represents a battery here, battery output, just like we did over there, except that, you know, just this is the battery. And so you're gonna send out 13 volts out of a branch. And from that branch out, that's gonna run into a switch. The output of that switch is gonna run to the memory cell, this blue line here, just like we did before. And then the setup is actually very simple, very similar. Um, this button is running to the output of the reset input just like before. Um, the inverted output, just like on the on version one, is running, this this inverted output is running to the the uh, power in on your on your turret. And the uh, and the output is this time running to a branch. And so the reason we've done that is because we have a second turret in here. Uh, the memory, the branch out sets a 10 and that output is running to the, the power in on that turret right there. And then the, the power out of this is running to a door controller right up there paired to this door. And so what's gonna happen now is that it's going to run primarily, I'll make myself invisible so it doesn't detect me yet. If I turn this on, if I turn this on, the turret's gonna turn on and you can see right now that we are in the inverted output. There's my, my point there, it's saying we have five. It does not, it's sending 11. Um, Cause we have 12 arriving. We actually have 11 coming out of here. There's nothing coming out of here. Um, and so 10, 11's heading out here and uh, it has ammo in it. And so once it runs out of ammo, the no ammo is gonna send out a signal, which is attached to the set input, which is gonna switch this over to the output, which is gonna change this to this door and this turret because I have this set to where when this receives the 11 volts coming out of here, 
you know, it's going to send, it's going to open the, it's going to do this and open the door. I'm sorry, the 12 volts, excuse me, 12 volts, one for the branch, 10 for the turret, one for the door controller. And that's it. So if I let me just turn this off, I'm going to make myself visible again. And now I'm going to go ahead and run this. And it's going to target me. And when it runs out of ammo, it's going to shut down, switch over and open these doors. So this is a much better, here, we'll, we'll just show how this works. So it's going to target me. Here we go. There we go. And when it runs out of ammo, it's going to open those doors. And it's going to fire up the next turret. And then there you go. So this is much more of a, I would say, a true turret backup setup. This is what I would do if I was going to use this. Um, and of course, to, to, to reset this, you would have to turn this off and you're going to have to uh, load it up. Well, we'll just load it up with whatever because we're not going to do that again. And so you have to load it back up with whatever you have. And then when you turn it on this time, it's not going to shoot me because I'm authorized. It's still set to the, to the uh, output because the memory cell has a memory. <laughs> so if you to reset the system, you would press this button, it's going to close the door automatically, shut down that turret in there, and switch over to this turret down here. And there, there you go. And so if I were to deauthorize myself, it would just start all over. So this is a much more, I think, applicable uh, way to use this um, if you're trying to actually have a true backup turret. So that is that. Uh, the the final thing over here is just this advanced 26 volt thing. I'm gonna make myself invisible because it is definitely not, I'm definitely not authorized on any of these turrets. And what I have here, I'll show you the setup. Basically is I have four, four turrets behind doors. So it's kind of this idea mixed with that idea, um, except that this one doesn't start with a live turret. It starts with all shut down turrets. This is kind of more of a trap or like maybe a event base or whatever. Um, and I'll show you how it works. If this is something you're interested in, this is kind of a whole video in itself. I can make a video, just leave it in the comments if it's something you'd like me to walk you through how to build. Uh, but essentially it's going to detect me and it's gonna run down one door at a time, but also it's gonna auto reset itself and shut down and close all doors protecting the turrets when they run out. So if I were to make myself not invisible, well, actually you know what we'll do, make myself invisible, I'll turn it on. If the green light's on, it's it's armed and ready to go, but not activated. Once it's activated, it'll switch to the red light. These are unnecessary. I just think it's fun. So I'm going to run over here and I'm going to make myself visible. As soon as I'm detected, here we go. You'll see it switches to red. That turret turns on. Clearly there's a delay. And then as it goes down the line, it just keeps turning on each turret. Uh, and, and when the turret is done, it closes it back up. And when this last one is done, it's going to close itself back up also and shut everything down so that there's no, then you have nothing going on. And so that's it. That's all you have to do there. I'm just gonna turn this off. But so this is kind of an idea of where you could take this. There's there's obviously many ways to build this, um, but it is a kind of a cool thing. So real quick, let's talk about the pros and cons. Um, you know, the pros of this simp this version here, they're very simple, um, but unless you do something to hide the second turret, they're very exposed. Um, so this would be something you'd want to do indoors where you have, say, one or two of these, you know, perched above maybe or something um, so that the, they're trying to engage with this first one. They don't know the other two are up there and then they start swapping over as they run out of ammo. Um, that's really kind of all you can do with it. Um, but the actual, this, this is the root circuit of everything I did over there and over there. So it's important just to understand how this works. Uh, as far as this one goes, I think this is the most useful version. The pro here is that you do have an active turret and it's just on, right? And so as soon as it runs out of ammo, you know, we can just like uh, simplify that by taking the ammo out. As soon as it runs out of ammo, it's gonna switch over to the second turret, which is guarded behind a door. So this is a, this is, I think, a true turret backup. This is the most efficient and I think, um, you know, most useful one that you could use. Uh, you know, cons, there's not really actually a ton of cons about this. It's only 13 volts and you get two turrets. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then of course, this is just wild and I just <laughs> wanted to see if I could do it. So, you know, it's got pros and cons, but it does hide them all and run them and reset itself. So if this is something you want, tell me in the comments and I will happily make a video on how I made this. And that, folks, is all I've got. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. Otherwise, you can get me on my Discord. See you later.